Welcome back to another video on the channel. This is the Broskies, and today we are here with the final weekend in my uh, ninth season of NASCAR um, 08 Earn Your Stripes mode. I almost forgot the name of the championship mode here in this game. <clears throat> I almost called it Chase for the Cup, but I think that's 2009. So, today we are finishing up the final four races of my ninth season. We're doing the Modifieds and then the three-way weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. Um, and I'm going to be turning pit stops on for the cup race, which is what I usually do. So let's get into it and we'll start with the Modifieds, which is only 12 laps. So that's easy enough. I believe we are 41 points out of the truck series lead, but I forgot to check the point standing. So, um, second place in the points was uh, Travis Quapple for the trucks, but I believe he had a bad race in, in the last event. So I should have a bigger lead now. So I should have the lead in the points for the truck series. So, but all right, let's get right into it with the modified race. And the controller. There we go. Some sometimes the uh, gas button gets jammed. Eleventh. Okay, we gotta have a better lap this time that was a little bit better hey, that's what's the Good job. I, oh only one spot better okay alrighty here we go the final race of the modified season I gotta get into the bottom lane here that might be tough well the gates parted right there maybe nope Okay, now we're good. Um, this track is a... Oh, they checked up there. I just ran into Mark Dyer in the 132 car. Rodney Clay, my rival. Might as well wreck him. And here's the slow car. Oh, it's Alan Walker in the 115. I think Clay is on our ass. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be happy. Get ready for trouble. Oh, he, okay, a little hit. Fine, you want the spot? Take it. Send it. I don't get to do any burnouts if I don't get the lead. I want to celebrate the championship. Oh, it's, it's not going to happen. We don't have enough laps. We should have put some more laps in. Travis Haley is the leader. I don't know. We might. If I keep sending it into the corner, we might have a shot. Oh, boy. Nah, I don't think I'm going to have a chance. He's just too fast. We gotta stay on the bottom here. We got three to go. I can stay on his ass. I might have a chance. Of course, he's my rival, so he's not happy. He's gonna block me all the way down into turn one. Oh, he just botched it. All right, fine, fine. No burnout for our modified title. Oh, well. It's just the modifieds anyway. We got a little too deep there. That's all right. That's all right. Haley, who's already mad at me. Oh, well. Fuck it. Well, 
Well, that's unfortunate. And there's the championship win. For the mods. I don't see our car there. Sometimes they show the car. There's the car. And of course we got a rival. Who, that's probably Rodney Clay. Who's not happy with us. But alright. We got the modified title. That's probably my fifth by now. Or maybe even sixth. I've, I've won so many championships and modifieds. Um, that was easy. Wow, and our contract expired too. All right. So now we just have the Bush, well, the truck Bush and Modified series coming up. And we're not going to put pit stops on for the first two, but we are doing the pit stops yeah. for the cup race. So we have to intimidate. I'm probably not going to do that because this is just the last race of the season. We'll have new contracts next year. But I'm probably not going to have any videos next season. Maybe the uh, Daytona weekend, I might have that on the channel. But I'd like to start a whole a whole new profile on a different uh, mem uh, memory card. Sorry, screwed up my words. And of course, Quapple, knowing he needs to win the title, starts right next to me if I can get the pole. Wonderful. And yeah, we're in the Mixwell truck. And if you... Remember the last time that I was here? It was a nightmare where we won all three Watkins Glen races, but it was the most glitched shit I've ever seen. Trucks crashing into turn one, and the cars, you know, in Cup and the Bush series all wrecking in turn one, and then they kept hitting the pit entrance on every restart. got into the grass a little bit there car I mean the truck's a little loose but I'm not going to worry about it oh yeah we're very loose actually um, that's going to be a little bit of an issue well we got the pole also honestly there's no point in doing a, another lap so, the sun is coming through my window, and that might be an issue. So, hopefully, it's already starting to interfere with the screen already, with the TV, so. Well, in order to beat Quapple, we'll probably just have to win and lead the most laps, so. We'll just, we'll try to lead all ten. Even with this loose truck, I don't... I don't know why we're so loose. I don't re like remember us being so loose here at Homestead Miami Speedway. So I will see. Man, I can't even. I can't even keep it without sliding up the track on the bottom. So that's already lap one. It should be a title win. But I didn't check the points, but I do know I won the the I won at Phoenix and Quapple finished below 30th. He had a DNF, so I think he actually finished last. So coming into Phoenix, we were 41 points behind him. We probably took the lead and like there's no way that we didn't take the lead from him in the points. So this should be an easy win as well. And again, there's no point to there's no point of putting pit stops on on short races like this. So I only put pits on for the Cup series. Oh, we oh a caution. There we go with the stupidity. Let's see what the caution is. So, yeah. Oh, the 129. Looks like he just got a little loose there. Yep. That is the Lawless Root Beer Truck. 
I believe. Well, that shaved off probably a lap or two. Maybe one. Yeah, looks like none. Oh well. So this will be the last season that I do all four series. I believe this is the... I didn't win the truck title last year. So I decided to go for all four titles in my ninth, in my ninth full season. Um, we'll have to check the stats after the races are over. But I'm pretty sure that I have four or five modified titles, probably five. I know I said six earlier, but I think it's five. I have two Bush Series titles, one truck title, and two cup titles. So we're going for our... Actually, it, it could only be our second cup title. I think it might be our second title for cup. So, we got a slow car on the track there on the upper right of the screen. And he's heading to the pits, so we're not going to know who it is, but probably a engine failure. Well, that's the five-point bonus that we needed. So, I don't know if Quap was still in second or not. I haven't been checking the leaderboard up there. I remember the last year I did this. Well, when I completed my first full Cup Series season in this game, I drove the 2, which is what I'm driving now, would be my... Well, the first Cup Series season, I spent a lot of time in the 5 and the number 11. But then with two races left, I signed with Penske to drive Kurt Busch's number 2. And it was me versus Harvick the whole season. Harvick won like 15 races. And I won like 10. And it came down to me and Harvick on the final lap side by side at Homestead Miami Speedway. And I got to the line. Oh. I beat him at the line by a nose driving Kurt Busch. And I won the title by one point because... He led the most laps, but I finished one spot ahead of him. And since I led the last lap, I got the final five uh, bonus points. And I won the, the NASCAR Cup Series championship over Harvick by one point. But, well, this year is a lot different, though, as I have a massive lead in Cup with just the final race left. So but there it is. The truck series title is ours, I ha I think. So let's do the burnout, which I don't know why that's really loud. The legendary Josh uh, Satrani, I think that's his name. Oh, I blew the engine. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm pretty sure that we won the title. I guess we're going to find out right now. Here's the victory screen. Which, of course, I turned the music off. And yeah, we're the champion for trucks. That's two for two. Two titles.
Well, that's nice to see. Um, Quapo botched his title at Phoenix with a DNF when it mattered the most. That could have come down to just a couple points because I was only 41 behind him going into Phoenix. Oh, wait. That was... No. No. That's... That was not my first Truck Series title win. Let me go back into my... Shit here. Into my archive. It tells you your championships, and I saved a couple of them. Yeah, see? Oh, wait, that was... Yeah! What the fuck? The, our first Craftsman Truck Series Championship win. Demi won the Bush title, and we won Cup, and they're telling me it's my first Truck Series title again. And yet, I've, I know that I've won at least one. And there's your proof. So let's check the points really quick. Or maybe we shouldn't. I don't I don't think we should. Let's just do the the bush race. Um and then we'll do the, the cup race with pit stops on. So So far it's been pretty easy. Um But yeah, that makes no sense. I I've won two championships, not one, so screw you game. For trying to give me Alzheimer's. Alright. This time I'm going to start from the back. Of the pack. I'm not I, I'm not even going to qualify. Because it just makes it more interesting. To you know. Start in the back of the pack. Puny David Stremme. Or is that Reed? think reads right there and, and I just I just got into him Casey Mears trying to block four wide damn it was we got Hornish up here. Share my draft a little bit. Jeff Burton, who I've accidentally wrecked in the last two races, somehow is still partially my ally. Well, he obviously not... He probably don't like me too much because he hasn't became my ally. And I did draft him a little bit there. I got my teammate Truex. I, I have to beat him. Oh. Thanks a lot. They checked up in front of me. And now I have damage. My old pal Kevin Harvick. Remember the good old days, Harvick, when you and I used to battle this track? in this game and then you lost the title to me and cut by just one point good seeing you Kevin we got Paul Menard up here we got Matt Kenseth or that yeah that's Matt stupid Denny Hamlin who's never going to win a championship hopefully that, that ages well that comment <laughs> Got Mike Wallace up here in the Geico 7. There's John Wood on the top, which I can't stand. I never liked him in this game. No offense to him at all. It's just the game version of John Wood that I don't like. So, go fuck yourself. Time and time again, he's wrecked me for no reason when I wasn't even his rival. And we got this fake-ass Nexo Cup car that is in the Bush series, which makes no sense. It's still a pretty badass car, and yep. 
I'm going to wreck John Wood or at least hit him. We got Denny Hamlin in the lead. Damn, I got no straightaway speed whatsoever. Try to get some uh, side draft here off of John Wood, and it's just not happening. Bitch. Damn, that really screwed up my car. I guess I have no choice but to draft Hamlin. Gonna try to get down to the bottom here, but he's gonna close up the lane with the stupid uh, speed comp that this game has. So we'll draft him down the front straight away. Try to peek out low. And he's gonna close it up again. As far as I know, Hamlin has not won a race all season in this game, and now he decides to be good. Not good enough, obviously, because we're going to get a run on him. Oh, he's going to power back on the outside, and now he wants to be friend. Okay, fine. Friends for now until you crash me. I should have closed up the bottom. He's there. So, okay. I'll try to swing around him here on the... Oh, maybe we don't have to. We can just try to power back around him. Oh, I almost didn't clear him. Ah, see? The stupid speed comp. And now we're not allies anymore. Oh, well. I don't want to be your friend anyways, Denny. He can also go fuck himself. <laughs> Although, I, I, I will admit, that is a pretty nice car, though. I've always liked that paint scheme for some reason. It's the Rockwell automation car. going to try to get up alongside me. And I just put myself into the wall. we got a handful of laps to go already in this bush event. I mean, we'll put pit stops on for cup. Since there's 21, I think there's 21 laps, there'll probably be pits on lap 11 at, at least. I left the bottom open a little bit, but he can't quite get there. If I have to go, he's going to try to get me here in, the, in turn one, so I blocked him up. I left a little bit there, but he's not going to try it. Or he's going to go to the outside. I think Mike Wallace is third, but I can't be sure. I left a lot of space there on the bottom. Uh, maybe not as much as what I thought I did. I'm looking at him in the rearview mirror this whole time. Oh, he, he's there. I might as well give him a little room. Probably plug up the hole here on the bottom. Well, now the pack has caught us. This is going to be a fine race. He's going to be on the outside. I don't know why I'm, I'm not that fast on the on the straight. So I, I just blocked him. We're just not fast. Obviously fast enough to keep the lead, but now we got Mike Wallace behind us. In the Geico number seven, which I I, I saw the diecast of of that car on on eBay, and for some reason I almost bought it. I don't know why. We got two to go. This video is going by pretty smoothly. We haven't had really anything dumb happen or any stupid cautions or anything like that. Will Mike have a run on me? I don't think it's going to happen. I think I got this pretty good as we enter the white flag. Five, four, 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 
And no matter where we finish in the cup race, because of pits and stuff like that, I will still win the championship either way because we have enough points. So, yeah, no, no challenge from Mike Wallace or Clint Boyer. So, of course, scrape the wall for uh, good measure. But now we get to finally celebrate. It ain't a homestead burnout unless you kick up some of the grass, but it's like that. I just can't quite get that to happen right now. Well, it looks like I'm not gonna. Whoa! What the hell? It just stopped by itself. You motherfuckers! What the fuck, game? That's never happened before. I didn't press the start button to end my celebration. Oh, well. NASCAR probably got sick of me winning so many races. And there's the title for the Bush Series. Three straight titles in a row. Yeah, we're just dominating NASCAR. Well, that is three series down and one to go. Oh, yeah. Watch them say, C congrats on your first Bush Series title when I know I've won. I've won two Bush Series title. Oh, my God. Con Congratulations on your first NNS championship win. Ace, are you fucking losing your mind? Because I've won two. That's my third. Bush uh, series title. I'm pretty sure. Whatever. I might need a new agent after this season. Anyways, uh, yeah. We're putting pit stops on for the final race. And this should be interesting. Either way, we have the title locked up. Because I think we have like a uh, almost a 300 point lead. So. I'm not sure what to expect. In this one. How does Jamie McMurray have the fastest lap here? I think they have random. Best laps in this game. Newman's on the pole. He's been very strong. And Dale uh, Jr. So I assume that's the top three other than me in the chase. Because that's usually how it is in this game. When the drivers are really good in this game, they always start up front. Always. Newman, if it wasn't for me, Newman probably would have had five straight poles. Plain and simple. Because he's always up there. The beautiful Blue Deuce going for the title for the second straight season without Kurt Busch in it. God. I'm just drifting around the corners now. All right, finally we're in fourth gear. Much better handling. Much better. Car hi hardly even slides. We got the pole, so there's no need to go a second pole lap. All right. Last race of the career mode. Because I'm ending it after this. I'm probably not going to do another 
I don't know. I might do another season and just do Cup. And see if I can win the title with a different ride. But my favorite part is coming up because we get to see Tilly season. See who's retiring, see their replacements. Whoa, Tony Stewart, Jesus. That was a real race. NASCAR would question that and probably black flag Stewart. I don't know, though. There's no... Uh, there, there isn't no yellow line here, so maybe that would count as a, as a pass. They want me to share more drafts. Why? I have enough friends. Unless they let Tony buy me and then draft him a little bit. But then I got to worry about John Wood. And I'm not going to let that happen. I, I can't stand him. So, this makes no sense. My team wants me to... In Intimidate every race for about 45 seconds, and now they want me to draft people. God, Roger Penske, make up your fucking mind. That should be enough, right? Maybe. And Tony almost had a run on us there. He's still there, I think. There he goes. I'll, I guess I'll just give him the bottom. Whoa! Little little contact there. I, I wasn't quite clear. Damn, he's fast. Come on, Newman. I need some help. Yep, he's going to get by Stewart. Maybe, maybe not. Thanks for the drafting help, Ryan. I, I needed it. The uh, Team co uh, communicator is kind of stupid in this game because it doesn't let you share, uh, well, swap cars. But I think I mentioned it before that it would be kind of stupid since you can't buy your own teams, which I really hate about this game. It would have been great if you could have been an established racer and have a few championships under your belt. And then you could have bought a, bought a team and maybe run the team and not have to do the races. You know, like a... Let's say you, you retire as a driver and you become an owner. That would have been a lot cooler, I think. You got some tire wear? I swear to God, if I have to pit before lap, like, 16, oh my God. Oh my God, a half a tank? We're going to have to pit with two to go? Unless I stretch it. I don't know. We kind of need a caution. If we get a caution, we might be able to make it to the end of the race without pitting. But I don't think we're going to get a caution. Unless one of the AI decides to spin themselves out and manipulate the race to try to get some more points. Pull a 2013 Clint Boyer. 
which we like I swear to God I see that almost every race like the cars just like spin each other out or they just randomly spin out in this game well I don't know this is going to be close we might make it on fuel I have no idea we got 10 to go we're probably going to have to pit with like two to go and then that'd be real stupid because we would lose the race I'm, I'm not sure I wonder if I should pit soon we're a little loose off four I, I noticed Okay, so all four tires are worn. Okay, yep, the tire wear is working a little bit, but that's why we're a little loose off the corner entries. Oh, we're already low on fuel. Well, that was quick. We're definitely going to have to pit then. I wonder if I should pit this lap. Oh, I just saw that in my rear view mirror. Somebody slam, slammed the wall back there. It'd be nice if we got a caution because then I would just pit right now. I'll probably pit on the next lap. Because I know some of these guys are going to stretch it. So honestly, I'm just going to take a gamble and I, I'm going to pit this lap. God, I could barely make it off the corner. I got to clear Newman. Newman's pitting. Oh, wait, I didn't even know. Oh, I think we just screwed ourselves. Oh, no. I just screwed myself. I didn't know some of the cars were already pitting. Just fucking wonderful. Half the field pitted. So that's how they enter the pits. Because it comes up fast. We could have gained a huge advantage. Oh. oh my god, I just screwed I screwed up the race. We're not gonna do a burnout for the championship. That was my bad. Plus with this super long pit lane. Why the fuck are my pit crew's suits red and blue? They should be full, full on blue. Whatever. We just screwed ourselves big time. Oh, we're third? Oh my god, I'm second. Come on, get the lead. Oh my god, we're in first. Oh, son of a bitch. You know what? We have a shot, and I'm going to go for it. Michael fucking Waltrip. We have a shot to win this race now. Maybe we did pit at the right time. But it's going to be a pain in the ass to try to pass these two. Maybe not. We, we got to run here. Come on, Mikey. No, Mikey, go. Go away. Tony Reigns out front. I'm just going to draft him. Try to catch him. Oh, God. The speed comp in the corner is going to screw us. It's going to screw us. We're going to finish in second place. Still got some laps left, though. Only three. I'm sending it. I'm fucking sending it. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. 
But hey. Oh my god, brutal. I want to do a burnout for my cup championship. And the only way to do that is to win. And I was afraid that the speed comp was going to be in effect, which it has been. And I just didn't want to... I don't I don't I just did not want to risk it. I would lose the race. So Goodbye Tony Reigns, two to go. Watch somebody cause a caution on the white flag and end it under caution just so that I can't do a burnout. Here they come, I got a block. Coming off of four. We're going to take the white flag this time. I honestly thought I screwed myself with that pit stop. Apologies to Tony Reigns. I, did, I, I didn't want to do that, but... Hey, you got you to gotta do what you got to do, man. It, it's stupid that you can't celebrate your own championship win if you don't win. Checker flag, baby. We have got the victory, and somebody blew up on the final lap, but hey, I get to do burnout or champs for the second year in a row with Kurt Busch, number two, Penske. Fuck you, Nexo Cup. We blew the engine again. Oh well. We got to do what we wanted to do, and now the most exciting part is coming. We get to see who's retiring. There's my teammate Ryan Newman. What a successful season that we had in the two. And there's the championship win. Where the fuck's my trophy? Oh yeah, there's the trophy. It's not even the Nexo Cup trophy. It's like a like a Timu fucking trophy. <laughs> and of course, John Wood is mad at us. So, dude, it's the end of the season. Just fuck off and get a grip. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we'll see you next year when I dump you in the Daytona 500. <sighs> All right. And that's going to do it for the season. It says, congratulations on your first National Cup Championship win. Finally, all your hard work has paid off, but don't re relax just yet because with your newfound fame, contract offers will be flooding in from every team there is. Furthermore, your victory has warranted you one million in prize money. Yeah, you know what? That's a bunch of bullshit because I already have a title, Ace. I think after this, um, Ace definitely needs to get something checked out. But yeah, we did win a million dollars in prize money. Um, I think we've already upgraded everything. Yep. Besides a few in the Bush series and a few in the truck series, but okay, let's end the season. So we took a 372 point lead in the modifieds over Nate Beasley, and we are champs for the. Oh, yeah, so it was a 77 point lead for the truck series over Quapple. And the guy that I took, I took his truck, Montgomery Davis, 
was last. We had a 435 point lead over Clint Boyer and Bush. Um, Harvick got eighth. Let's see if there's any notables that are down there. Jeff Burton, Dale Jr. were way back in 23rd because we took his ride halfway through the season. So uh, I guess that would make sense. Wow, Casey Mears is way back there in 56th. And just like I thought, Newman, yep. And Junior. So, we had a 374-point lead win over Ryan Newman, Dale Jr., Truex, Tony Stewart, Jamie Johnson, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Elliot Sadler, Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, and John Wood. I didn't even know John Wood even like made the playoffs. And uh, Jeff Green, who was having a great run in, in the season, we screwed him. In the last video that I made on this game, he tried to crash me at Watkins Glen. So I crashed him back. And in the next race, I fucked him out of a playoff spot because I kept crashing him every race after that until Richmond. Harvick 22nd. So Jeff Green, you can suck it. Denny Hamlin way back there. Where the fuck is Greg Biffle? Ugh. Oh. How disappointing. Nobody nobody retired. Not even Michael Waltrip. Not even Ken Schrader, for crying out loud. You know what? What would have been cool is you could have took a retired uh, driver's ride, which I think they had that in uh, NASCAR 06. Chase for the Cup. Year 10. Let's, shut, uh, let's go sign ourselves a contract for Cup. They're all the same anyways, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're all the same contracts. I was hoping maybe they'd change it up a little bit. But nope. It's still the same for the two. It was fun, but I, I would like to race against Kurt Busch again. So I'm debating whether to go with Cup, well, with uh, Roush Fenway or take the five of Kyle Busch. Or maybe drive for Chip Ganassi Racing. Or just take Denny Hamlin. I'm going to sign with Denny Hamlin, I think, for the whole season. Be uh, because he sucks in cup in this game. I don't know why. But he does. Before we leave, let's take a look at the driver performance for the season. All right, here it is. So for season nine, we did half the Bush series season with Casey Mears, which would explain why he's way back there in the points because we took his ride. We had 21 starts in the National Guard car, and six wins. For modifieds, we raced all 16, and we won nine in the 146 Mixwell Field Pumps car. And then we did the final 14 races in the Bush series for... Dale Jr. is number eight, uh, Menards car, where, where we won five races. For the truck series, we did the whole season driving the 22 Mixwell fuel pumps truck, and we didn't even race all the races, but we still won the title with 14 wins. And our first, this is the first Cup Series season where I've done all 36 races with just one team, and it was with the Kurt Busch Dodge. 36 races, 12 wins, and 35 top 10s. I think we DNF'd one race, and we won $3.3 million. So, all right. Um, let me check. It wouldn't be in driver records. Where would it be in? Where is driver performance? There it is. We have 40 total victories in Cup, 128 top 10s, 80 victories in the Bush Series, 48 in Truck, and 52 in Modified. All right. All right. Well, that's going to do it um, for this. Thank you guys for watching. And we are champs. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great weekend. And... 
We'll see you next time.